Welcome back. You are tuned in. It came out really funny. I'm <laughs> well, yeah, that's not what it is. <laughs> we canceled our wedding. Oh. Yeah, we canceled our wedding. Straight face. Right. What's up? <laughs> Same. What's up? Spoiler alert, alert. You're jumping ahead again. Okay, ready to start? After these advertisements, a word from our <laughs> local station. Okay, this is the final one. <clears throat> for real? For real, for real. Hey guys, welcome back. You are tuned in with Cindy and John. So in today's video, we wanna talk about what happened with our wedding plans. As you guys know, 2020 has been an interesting year. A lot has been going on and we had a wedding plan for this year and some stuff has changed. So today we're gonna to kind of go into that and give you a little bit of a story. How do you feel about that? We canceled our wedding. It's canceled. So yeah, if you're interested to hear about what happened, then keep watching. So if you like these videos, make sure you let us know in the comments and subscribe for, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe for more videos in the future. And yeah, let's get right into it. So my bridal shower was in February and everything was really good around then. You know, I had a lot of women at my parents' house and it was a really fun celebration. My sister had done a really great job with throwing the party and it was, it was great. No worries in the world, just a lot of fun. Fast forward a month, no, not even a month, like a couple weeks, a few weeks, and it was March, and we had went to John's brother's wedding. So you wanna talk about that? Yeah, it was great. It went according to their plan. Mm -hmm. And as we were flying back, we, um, we were hearing more and more about people being concerned about travel and stuff going on. And I almost got in trouble with TSA for some wheat thins. But that's a different discussion. A different Apparently, <laughs> I had explosive wheat thins, and I told him just keep the keep the stupid wheat thins. Just please let me on let the plane. Let us go home. Because <laughs> we were we were pretty tight on the time getting into the airport. But enough about the TSA and, agent and my exploding wheat thins. <laughs> um, anyhow, so back to you know we were hearing more and more about people being concerned, mm -hmm. and that was early March. And uh, we got home and everything went bananas. Yeah. So we had started planning. We we're getting ready for things to happen. Then I started getting phone calls from people asking, like, do you know what's going on? I'm like, uh, well, we're still having a wedding. So mm -hmm. so that was kind of so where we were. come. Right. <laughs> We'd love to have you. Yeah. So, and obviously this is before everything kind of got a little crazier. And so I think it was like a week and a half later, like, stuff got real. So... The news started going crazy and everything was just happening so quickly. The governor I think, started signing things. Yeah, the governor was just like, yep, no, this is we have to limit people to stuff. And, and we the, were. It was like every day she came up with a new restriction. Literally, it felt like by the hour. So, mind you, I was on my phone checking everything, like freaking trying, out. I was losing a little bit of sleep because I'm like, wait, what's happening? Like, we spent a whole year planning this and it's literally like two weeks away. We were very, very close. And yeah, 14 crazy. days. It was, we just needed another 14. That's days. all we needed. Like plan for 365 and we just needed that last, well, little bit. So a few days. Yeah. Anyway, so a lot got crazy and eventually we got, it got to a point where it was like, I think the limit had been, it started with like 50 people and then, like or maybe it was like a hundred, something like that. So we were like, okay, well, we might just have to have a smaller wedding. Cause initially our plan was to have about 300. And so we decided, you know, we're just going to go with it. And it's yep. going to be okay. We're going we're gonna to do this. We're, not everybody's going to show up. And we're yeah. going to celebrate. It's going to be wonderful. Yeah. Wedding planning. We were getting very tired of wedding planning because it it's a lot. It's a lot of work. It it's is. a lot of stress. It's a lot of uh, this person, that person, this vendor. And we were just like, you know what? We're, we're ready for it to be yeah, over. We, we, we want to have the proper celebration and everything. So we wanted to you know, go forward with it. But then it got to a point where her limitation. It was literally not possible. Yeah. Her limitation got down to like 10 people or I forgot what it was. But we were. I think they closed the venues too. Like specifically. Yeah. So we couldn't get into our venue. Even our church. All the churches started closing. We were like, okay. So I think at that point, John had a good idea of let's get the marriage license. So we have that in time. Yeah, all this was going crazy. I was like, all right, babe, we need to get the marriage license immediately. So I put together all the paperwork and everything. Mm -hmm. And I was at work. So she ran down to the uh, the office to apply for it. And mm -hmm. that was literally the last day they were open. No, that, that, that next day they were closed. That and next so, day they were closed and they were not accepting new applications. Yeah, so we they, could not have gotten a marriage license if she had waited 24 hours. Yeah, so we had to get it through email. Like when, we, when they actually, or no, it wasn't email, sorry. No, the, yeah, so they wouldn't even let us come in, even on like a... Um, 
even like slip it under the door, yeah. throw it out a window. <laughs> right. They're like, no, you can't come in. We will mail it to you. Mm-hmm. So we had to wait for it to get mailed to us. And before, while we we're still waiting for the marriage license, everything is shutting down. And we're like, well, okay. Yeah. I guess we're not having the celebration we had planned. Yeah. And we finally got the marriage license and we kind of looked at each other and we're like, well, we, we don't even know if the, sh- the churches are going to be open yeah. and we're going to be able to use this marriage license. So do we wait for our an arbitrary date? Yeah, because if we had planned we for further like a further date, we just never we didn't know. I'm sure you guys didn't know what was going to happen this year. Neither did we? No, anybody knew. Yeah, nobody knew. So we were like, I mean, maybe we just go forward with this, and then later on when things are no- normal, we can literally do everything we planned. And so uh, that's what we did. Yeah. So we made the decision. Uh, we don't know if they're if these places are going to be closed, if they're going to shut down the churches or anything. But we know this weekend we can get married. So we did. Yeah, so it wasn't and a lot went of people. Ahead and got married. Yeah, well, it couldn't be a lot of people because yeah. of the restrictions, um, which you know we had to abide by all the restrictions. Mm-hmm. And um, a friend came over and helped send you with her hair. Yeah, and we took, got some pictures. You know, I had a dress. I didn't have the dress that I had for the wedding, but I had gotten a dress that it was nice and it wasn't expensive. So mm-hmm. yeah, that was that was that came in handy. <laughs> yeah, so Cindy got. A very inexpensive dress that looked fantastic on her. A friend helped her do her hair. Uh, I went to Sam's Club and looked up how to make a bouquet online. (laughs) Made some flowers. (laughs) Made her a whole bouquet, ribbon, everything. Uh, Put together a whole bouquet before we, we, you know, met up, went to the church. Yeah. And... um, and a friend of ours did took pictures. Yeah, so that we got day. photos and video. Yeah, so it was nice. Like it wasn't big, but you know, to this day, it's still like not easy to be like, well, we had this plan and it just didn't go at all. Plan didn't happen. Yeah, it didn't didn't go. But at the same time, you know, we had we wanted to start our lives together. We hadn't been living together, and we just you know decided to do that so we can you know combine lives. So we were happy about that, and as hard as the situation was, I think the biggest takeaway was roll with what you got, deal with the situation at hand, and you know it's that's the most important thing, especially for us, like just being together. So we made the decision to go ahead and get married while we knew that we could, because we had no idea what God's plan was going to be, yeah. and we knew that our part of it was, um, you know, we wanted to be together, we wanted to be married, we wanted to move in together, we wanted to start start our lives together, yeah, and. We're so incredibly glad that we did that Mm -hmm. and we made the decision to do it, even though I know it was really, really hard for Cindy to kind of give up her expectations, give up the plan that she had in her head for that day and to just say, we're going to postpone that for a different time. We're going to do it this way. Mm -hmm. That was a huge sacrifice for her, but we're so glad that we're together going through this crazy time and not separate waiting for a day yeah. someday because maybe. we actually postponed it till this year the end of this year and things are still kind of up in the air so when it does happen next year it's it's going to be good and it's as hard as it was yeah, we were looking at you know a date that's a few weeks from now and um things are still up in the air we didn't know how many guests would feel comfortable yeah we didn't people know. are still a little bit like not comfortable with everything so and we didn't know if the governor was going to invent new clever restrictions randomly because right. people could and, literally fly in and then mm-hmm. the next day everything's changed again and we're like yep and you can't we can't we couldn't do that to our you guests. can't plan like that it's very difficult so and so yeah instead of just like waiting like by a date that may or may not work we're like let's just go forward with it and yeah move the whole thing we're planning to a time that actually makes more sense and I'm going to lie to you guys, it's still not easy to like under, like grasp sometimes because it's just like this is literally out of our control. Like nobody expected this this year. But at the same time, like uh, we're trusting that, you know, it's all going to be fine. And we, this is what God would want us to do. And we're, you know, happy that we're together. And that's that's the biggest part. Because being alone in, in quarantine right now would be super hard. Mm-hmm. And we definitely um, feel for everyone who's in that situation. And how uh, challenging it can be during this period of time to get that human connection that you desire. Yeah. And so we've, you know, tried to help out some of our friends, but that's a different story. <laughs> there, there's a lot of people that have had to make a lot of changes this year, and many of them were far more impactful than yeah. uh, rescheduling a wedding. But every single one of those things and plans, a change in plans is unmet expectations, and there's, uh, there's always. 
some level of disappointment or grief associated with losing out on your plan, your expectation, what you wanted. And so, and some people don't realize how, you know, we change the plan, no big deal. And, and guys are more inclined to that than women are. And it's like, we know you don't understand. It's like, this is this this is something I've been dream, dreaming about yeah, for a whole like long time. I obviously had a whole plan in my head about how it was going to go. And obviously I knew that not everything always goes to plan. So I knew that, but I didn't really expect this. Like, this is really... Nobody did. Yeah, <laughs> this is crazy. So, you know, as hard as that is, and I realized that I'm not the only one that has to deal with this. And this is not a situation that people haven't gone through. And, and so we're just, you know, thankful that we have each other in this whole thing. And that's the biggest thing, like I said. And... We're just excited for that day that we can actually celebrate the proper way we wanted to, you know? Like, we're still going to have a full ceremony. We're going to have the reception, and it's going to be great. And everybody will, that was supposed to be there will be there. I guess our story is just to help anybody out there who has a similar situation with their wedding or something this year they had planned that just didn't happen, and it's really hard. Just know you're not alone, and this is something we had to deal with personally. We're coming to terms with it, and we have accepted that, you know, not everything always works out the way you plan, but that's just how it's supposed to be. And it can be very, very difficult and personal and hard to talk about. Uh, this oh, yeah, girl this. has talked <laughs> about her, you know, significant injury and shared that and her inability to do her career. But when we first had to reschedule a wedding the first time, I was like, you know, let's make a video about it and, and try to share that with other people and, you know, help people understand uh, other people are going through this challenge and it's not fun. And that's not to downplay anybody buddy else's experiences or challenges this year. Just to say, for those of you that are going through challenges, which is almost everybody, you're not alone. And yeah. particularly for couples who had a wedding plan this year um, that, you know, everything didn't go to plan. Yeah. You're not alone. It's not fun. It's not. But... We, we care about you and, and yeah. we hope that you're able to find peace through the process. Right. And it was amazing to me that Cindy was so comfortable talking about everything else. Uh, literally took her until now until she was willing to, to have this particular discussion and share this because it was so hurtful to her to, yeah. to those unmet expectations. Yeah. I mean, as a woman, sometimes you feel like you're alone when you go through things like this. And it just kind of feels like, why did, like our personal experience have to be that. But like John said, like... Everybody's going through something in their life. And even though you may not see that, you may not understand that, that you're not alone. Literally, that's how life is. And so I had to come to terms with that. And I think just accepting, you know, something that you really, truly want can sometimes be changed in the plans. It's okay. It's okay. And it's at the end of the world, you know? You just got to trust that God has a plan. And this isn't what we expected. This isn't what we planned. He will take us where we need to go. He will. So I am super happy that I have this man. He is amazing, and I'm like I'm very lucky to you know just be with you and excited for whatever the future holds for both of us. So for those of you going through things, or you know people who are going through things, try to help each other out. Try to try to share each other's burdens, if you mm -hmm. will, and support one another. And just say, um, you know, what we'll say to you, which is it sucks, and we're sorry, and you know, none yeah. of us none of us really caused this or wanted this, and here we are, and. We're, we're, we're going to keep moving it. forward. There are better days ahead. Absolutely. So we hope this helps somebody out there. If you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments something that resonated with you. And yeah, we will both see you guys in another video. Bye.